Hi everybody, uh, Mike Bigota here. We're back at it with our Double Slide 101 series. I'm very sorry for the lateness of this of, of these videos. It's supposed to be posted like a week, two weeks ago. I got sick. I got better. So that's all taken care of now. Uh, we're going to continue on with our series. So today I'm going to show you in the second set of videos how to get minor chords. You know, and minors are really hard to get in open tunings. Right, if you're in an open major tuning, like I'm in open E here, that's the tuning we're in. And you know, traditional steel players, they have to slam their, 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 their big slide back, and it's you know, like this, and it's just it's a pain. So the double slide, the thumb slide, is gonna really help you get those minor shapes. So the first shape I wanna show you, really basic full shape, is this thing. So you're gonna take your thumb slide, if you want A minor for instance, okay? Put your big slide on the, down on the fifth fret where your A major chord is. Then to get that minor, you're gonna take your thumb slide, you're gonna put it three frets up, and you're gonna put it down on strings three and four. And you're gonna strum all the strings. <laughs> Okay, now the thing that you want to watch for here, and this is a nice big open sound, uh, when you're first starting out playing double slide, um, your hand is not going to be used to the stretching that you're going to have to do with your thumb. So sometimes, okay, this big slide is going to move on you, that's okay, that happens in the beginning. It's taken me years to get to the point where it doesn't, I've had to train my hands not to do that. But careful with your intonation. You're going to want to place your thumb slide kind of just right over where the, the fret marker is to get this on. Okay? So that's the first shape, and that's just a basic, like you've got your root, your third, your fifth, and your root on top, so it's just... And you've even got the fifth and the root again on the bottom, right? So it's a nice, big, open minor sound. Lovely. To get this same chord, A minor, Okay, in another shape, uh, you're gonna take your big slide, you're gonna move it three frets up from A onto the eighth fret where C major is. Now, to get into a bit of theory here, right, C major and A minor are related because they share the same number of sharps and flats, which is in this case none. Okay, so I'm gonna form, remember that major six shape I showed you guys the first lesson? Well, I'm in a form of C6, right? Two frets up. You're only angling your thumb so that it's on string five, right? And like you're thinking this is C6. But look what I just did. If I only play strings five, four, and three, I get a minor, okay? And if I want to get my inversions, right? Because right now we're just in root position words, you know, the root, the third, and the fifth. If I want to get my inversions where, say, it's fifth, Sorry, where, where it's first inversion, right? And the uh, the third is um, the third is on the bottom, fifth, and then the root. I've just got to play strings five, four, and two. And then if I want the second inversion, right, where I've got the fifth, uh, the root, and the third on the top, I just got to play strings one, two, and three. So look at that. Already I've just shown you four chord shapes. Okay, and if you want to get a minor seventh, because everybody, you know, wants to have a minor seventh, they're important. All you gotta do is you just gotta add the second string if you've got your your uh, your minor in root position and you get this. And you know, if you put it up on top here, then you wanna add string uh, four below if you want the seventh on the bottom. So the real difference here is that between a major six and, you know, um, you know, your, your, your C major six and your A minor, your, major, your A minor seven, it's, it's basically how many strings we're playing, right? If I add in this bottom note, this C, it automatically becomes a C six. But if I take it out, there's my A minor, okay? So, you know, whatever, the easiest way to think about this 
to remember this minor shape, you just want to put it, your thumbs, your big slide three frets up from the, the name of the chord that you want. So in this case, A, then you're gonna put your thumb two frets up, only so that it's hitting string five or string two. And if you want a minor, you're gonna play three strings, right? Or the fourth string above if you want a minor seven. Or the top three, this position, or, right, below. So there you go. There are some of your basic minor shapes. There's a ton of others, um, but I will show you that in future lessons. So uh, I will see you guys next lesson where I'm going to kind of show you how to incorporate these chord shapes into a minor blues and get some practical playing in there. See you next time. Uh, if you like what you're watching and you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, you can like, you can give me a like on Facebook. Just search Mike Nagoda and the Spectrum Blues Band, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at M Nagoda. That's M N A G O D A. So I will see you guys next time. Take care.